owns this home. The person who owns this home grew up in a family that was poor. Okay. The family was poor and they traveled all the time because the dad took care of horses, so he'd go from one horse ranch to another horse ranch. So the, the kid was never stable. He was never stable. And then his senior year, his teacher asked the whole class to write an essay about what it is that you're going to do. What is your goal? What is your dream? And so this guy whose dad is a, is a horse trainer writes that he's going to one day own a horse ranch, 200 acre, 4,000 square foot, 4,000 square foot home. And so the teacher, after she reads it, because he spent, the kid spent seven hours writing it, you know, this is, he, he made a detail, he even, drew a, he even drew a picture of how it's gonna look. The teacher, after reading it, puts a big fat F on there. And says, come see me at the class. So the kid comes back out the class and says, Miss, I, I don't understand. Why don't you put it? Why don't you put an F? And this is what she tells him. She's like, I put an F because your dream is unrealistic. You don't have money, don't you? You're, you how are you ever gonna get that? How are you ever gonna get that house? How are you ever gonna get that, that 200 acre ranch? Your dad travels all the time. You guys are stable. She's like, you know what? It's all realistic. So this is what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna give you your paper back and you're gonna write a realistic dream. So the kid goes, he goes back home. He tells his father about it. And his father says, well, son, it's your choice. You have a choice whether you're gonna do it or not. contemplates it and he goes back to the teacher and he gives her the paper. He says, you know what? You can keep the F. I'll keep my dream. The story doesn't stop there. The teacher's still teaching. She's old, 65, whatever, brings a group of 30 students to the horse ranch for a field trip to his house. She's like, and she says, you know what? I remember you and I'm sorry because I was a dream still, but I'm grateful that you didn't allow what I said to kill your dream. You can tell me, keep your criticism, keep all that. I'm going to keep my dream. I'm going to make a difference.